Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the New York Yankees at Yankee Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Jerry Stevenson, whose record is 6-7 and seven, with a 360 ERA. And pitching for the Yankees today is Al Downing, whose record is 15-9 with a 235 ERA. All right, so we started our road trip with a huge loss to the Yankees. We got absolutely clobbered yesterday, 9-1. to one. Uh, We were never in the ball game. Another one of those games where it was just over in the first inning. The Yankees scored three, and, you know, we mailed it in. Uh, we also pitched a lot of our uh, September call-ups. So the game got inflated. It probably wouldn't have been as bad if we had pitched, um, you know, our regular bullpen players, but we want to save them for games that we have a chance in. And I don't think today's one of those days. Um, I looked it up. Jerry Stevenson, who's starting today, uh, had seven starts in August, and he did not win a single game. Uh, so he's on a he's pit, been pitching very poorly, and we're going up against Al Downing with a 2.35 ERA. Uh, we have two players who are listed as tired, Pinella and AG, uh, but we need them in the lineup. We do have a day off on the 5th, so, um, I mean, we just have to play our best players and hope that somebody comes through because uh, that's the only way we're going to beat the Yankees, who, although we have very similar records, they are definitely the superior team, um, at least from the pitching perspective. So uh, that is where we stand heading into today's game. Also, today in real life, it is opening day. And I've got my Detroit Tigers shirt on. Um, we are beginning the 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay today. It is opening day. We will have that game coming up later on this afternoon. I've got my whole day mapped out. I took the day off from work. I'm going to knock out these two baseball games today. And then uh, I'll have the game. I have TVs on both sides of me here uh, in the office. And I'll, I'll have games on all day long. Uh, while I'm uh, editing and recording these videos. So um, it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited. I can't wait for the 84 season to get started. That was the whole impetus of starting this channel. Um, it was during COVID, and uh, I thought it'd be fun to play these games for my friends. And uh, and then you're here. And I, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We have over 360 subscribers. I never expected that to happen. Um, and uh, I really appreciate everyone who gives even a moment to take a look at some of these games and, and uh, deal with my goofiness. And, you know, I'm sure you're a big fan of baseball. You, you wouldn't be here if um, you weren't. So maybe this is a big uh, day for you. Um, you know, in the comments below, let me know which team is your favorite team. Like, I already know that um, Julio is a big uh, Orioles fan. Dave is a White Fox Sox fan. Freddie is a Mets fan. Um, but if you're new to the channel, I mean, I'm sure there are many of you that have not ever taken a moment to comment. But I would love to know uh, what your home team is, which team you follow. Uh, maybe it's the Tigers. Uh, I think that's the case for John M. Um, I'm not really sure who Don T's favorite team is. Um, I'm curious because uh, he lives in Hawaii. So uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'd like to know that. Okay. So uh, we have Jerry Stevenson on the mound. And if you look at the numbers, holy cow, he's pitched really well versus the Yankees this year. A 107 batting average against it, a 214 slugging. So if we weren't at the end of the season, and if he wasn't on such a terrible streak, I'd have a little bit of hope today. Um, all of our main guys in our bullpen are available. Uh, Bill Edgerton and Dick Bates uh, did not pitch well yesterday, um, and they're both tired. They will not play today. Then we take a look here at our lineup. As I mentioned, Lou, whose average is just absolutely plummeted. I think he's 0 for his last 16. And Tommy Agee, both of those guys are tired. Um, but uh, we have to uh, play the best guys we can. Try to get some good defense in there today, too. Let's take a look at the lineup rundown for today's ballgame. Batting leadoff, playing shortstop, is Freddie Pontek. And batting second. At second base is Gary Sutherland. 
Batting third in left field is Lou Pinella. Batting cleanup. Playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting sixth in right field is Tommy Agee. Batting seventh in center field is Don Bosch. Batting eighth and catching is Jerry McNertney and the catcher, uh, the pitcher Stevenson in the number ninth spot. Okay, let's take a look here at Al Downing having a career year, uh, making his 32nd start. He has a career high in wins with 15. He's 15 to 9 with a 235 ERA. That is a best as well. 202 strikeouts in 233 and a third innings pitch. Opponents are betting 204 against him. Eight complete games, five shutouts. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44%. Uh, his fastball is his best pitch. It's rated 91. And he's got a great slider, which is an 83. Uh, a changeup and a curve. I mean, both of the 70s. So he's got four solid pitches. Overall, in 87, the 28-year-old lefty is a free agent at the end of the 1974 season. So he must have signed an extension or something. No, that is what he is earning. That is like no money at all for the two-time All-Star. Okay. Um, let's take a look at his log out of curiosity. Do we have an appearance? Yeah, we do. Back on June 9th, he took a loss against us, uh, giving up two runs in eight innings, only four hits, and he didn't walk anybody, but um, he must have had Brabender going that day. That's all I could think to uh, keep him at that low uh, of a total and not get the win. Okay, the defense for the Yankees looking pretty solid. Um, not a deficiency at any position. Um, let me grab a little drink of water here. Allergies are off the charts here in southern Arizona. Everything's in bloom. So if I'm a little sniffly today, uh, I took an allergy pill. So hopefully I don't fall asleep. But I may need to hydrate here. And pace myself. All right, here we go. Um, we've got Freddie Patek leading off against Al Downing. A big day of baseball. Let's get going here. As Patek rips it into left field for a base hit. Do we want to go for two? You know what? I say this every time. Whenever there's an opportunity like this in the first, if we don't take advantage of it, the game is over. We know that. We know how this game works. We got to go for it. Roy White, not a great arm. Patek, good speed. Very good speed. And a 60% chance of success. So we're going to go for it. Here we go. And he is safe at second with a double. So being aggressive early might pay off. That is his 11th double for the pilots. Next up is Gary Sutherland. We're going to try to hit to the right side, move him along. Um, and Sutherland hits lefties well. So he doesn't strike out. So I'm expecting good contact here. He does go the other way. It's a ground ball to first. Patek advances. And now Lou, with a sack fly, can get us on the board. Um, you know, we're going to go on contact, actually. Lou could get a sack fly on his own. But we want Patek to score even on a ground ball. So here we go. Patek going on contact. Oh, no. 2-2 two -two count. Oh, he makes contact. Good job. Ground ball to second. And we are on the board. It's 1 nothing. Seattle. Here, Pinella. A RBI. Bases are empty now for Darren Johnson. Who hits a ground ball to second. And of course, Clark makes the play. So we score early. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at the. Yankees lineup, it appears to be the same as yesterday. Batting leadoff playing shortstop is Frank Baker. Batting second in right field is Bobby Mercer. Batting third and catching is Thurman Munson. And batting cleanup playing first base is Tony Soleda. Batting fifth in center field is Jim Little. Batting sixth at third base is Bob Bailey. Batting seventh in left field is Roy White. Batting eighth at second base is Horace Clark. 
And batting ninth is the pitcher, Al Downing. Okay, Jerry Stevenson on the mound. Let's take a look at him here. This is the new Jerry Stevenson card that um, Julio L. found for me. It is a card that's created by an artist. Um, it's excellent. Uh, I don't know who that artist is. I typically don't like using people's art without uh, giving them the proper um, recognition. Uh, but uh, in this case, I did it anyway because I really like the card. And I like Stevenson, not in a Red Sox jersey, but in a uh, Pirates jersey. So thank you to Julio for digging that up for me. Uh, so anyway, uh, he is making his 20th start. Six and seven with a 360 ERA. He's keeping the ERA down. Or maybe we're pulling him out early before the damage gets done. Uh, 129 strikeouts in 142 in the third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 211 against him. Fastball tops out at 93 miles an hour. He's a fly ball pitcher 62% um, of the time. A screwball is his best pitch. It's rated an 84. Fastball at a 79. Overall at 82, and he's got a little room to grow, which is nice. The 25-year-old right-hander is arbitration el eligible at the end of the year, and we will definitely pay him to stick around. Um, looking at his log, as I mentioned, he did not get a win in August. In fact, he only he went 0-4 with three no decisions. His last four starts have been horrible. Five runs, four runs, four runs. He only gave up a run against the Senators, but he walked five, um, giving up only two hits. We had to pull him. Uh, because he was in route to getting clobbered by them, and our bullpen saved the day. So uh, he's due for a good game. Maybe today's the day. Uh, let's take a look at our defense. So yeah, as usual, uh, first and second below league average, uh, barely. And McNerty behind the plate. Uh, the rating doesn't look good, but he's played very good defense for us. And actually the same can be said for Sutherland at second base. Is, um Defensive range and defensive war are both in the positive, so um, they've been very helpful. Okay, we have Frank Baker leading off. Baker, I think he had a couple hits yesterday and a couple of walks. It was hard to get out for a guy batting 145. A ground ball to short, and there's an easy play to start the game as Patek tosses him out. One out. Bobby Mercer up next. Nice screwball from Stevenson. That's in the hole. It's short. Play made by Patek. So Patek's busy already. Thurman Munson leading, uh, not leading off, but up with two outs and lines out to first. A 1-2-3 inning. That's exactly what we want. We preserve the lead. And we've got Rollins, A.G., and Bosch do up. Rollins 0-2 in his career versus Downing. And he strikes out, pitch right on the corner. Debatable whether that was a strike. But I think Downing, having a, the season he is, gets the call. Here's Tommy Agee. As I mentioned, he is tired. But uh, he manages to put a charge in into center field for out number two. And Bosch getting the start today in center field. He's betting 260 versus lefties. 240 overall with nine home runs. And he goes to right field for a base hit. That's our second hit. Do we want to go for two? Not this time. It's 30%. And it says Bobby Mercer's arms is 74, but I, I think it was much better than that in real life. We've got Bosch on first. He's got good speed, but only a 64% chance of stealing. Stolen bases are not his thing. We will let McNerty swing away here. He hits lefties well. Popping it up into shallow left center field. The shortstop Clark backpedaling to make the catch. Actually, it's Frank Baker. I bet. We go to the top of uh, bottom of the second inning with Tony Soleda leading off. He's got 20 home runs for a guy that didn't make it to the majors until 1974. He's doing pretty well. Striking out on that screwball from Stevenson. That's the first strikeout for Jerry. One down. Jim Little up next. First pitch swinging for a base hit to left field. So there's the first base runner 
for the Yankees today. That will bring up Bob Bailey. Bailey's been traded twice this year. Started on the Expos, went to the Tigers. Tigers sent him to the Yankees when they started to abandon ship. And he gaps it. So it's going to be one all. A double for Bailey. Whoa! Little holding up at third. Should have scored easily there. So <laughs> that is the 15th double combined. He never even took it at bat for the Expos. Despite having a Montreal Expo baseball card. All right. Um... Here's Roy White. This guy is nobody to fool around with. Not a lot of power, but he does get on base. Is the game going to walk him here? Yeah. Oh, no, it's a strikeout! Well, okay, so we definitely are walking Clark to get to the pitcher, right? That would be foolish. I know it's the second inning, but one swing of the bat from Clark, a 194 hitter, versus righties would give him the lead. So we have to walk him. Uh, every at bat is so crucial. So here's the Al Downing, not the worst hitting catch, uh, pitcher in the game. We're going to play straight away. I wish we could pull the outfield in, but they took that away from us. 2 2 count to Downing. And he strikes out on the screwball. So great managing on my part. Pat myself on the back. It's opening day, man. It's, uh, everything's on the line. All right. Feeling good about ourselves. And Jerry Stevenson will get it bat in at bat. Look at that 219 on base percentage. That's kind of impressive. Stevenson batting left handed. Flies out to center. That's some good wood from the pitcher. One out. Back to Freddie Patek. Led off the game with a base hit. And he's safe on an error by the first baseman. So Soleda boots it. Patek is safe. 71% chance of stealing second. I think we're going to hit and run here. And while this is not a strength of Sutherland's, he does not strike out. So I think he's only struck out 11 times in 350 at-bats. So he's going to put it in play. Oh, he's going to do one better than that. A base hit. It gets to the wall and it scores a run because we, we had the hit and run on. So an RBI double from Sutherland. That is his team leading 18th double. He only needs one hit to get you 100. Pretty good for a guy that um, I wasn't even really on our radar. So uh, good job by Sutherland. And another runner in scoring position for Lou. We need Lou to come through. One, two count, and Panilla watches strike three go by. That's two down. Darren Johnson, a little more trustworthy. We let him swing away here. First pitch swinging, and a base hit down the left field line all the way to the corner. Another run in. It is three to nothing, and Johnson starting to step up here. That is his eighth double, and I believe he had two yesterday. Am I right? No, he just had one yesterday. He was the player of the game. He went three for four. So that is um, consecutive games with doubles. Three nothing. We need this victory. I didn't think we would hit so well versus Al Downing. Let's see if Rollins. Can uh, give us another run here. Ground ball gets past Elena. Oh my gosh. Johnson scores. They rule that a hit. Uh, and it is 4 0. Give Rollins an RBI. That is excellent. Okay, we are clutch today. Let's see how Tommy Agee does. Flew out to center field. First time up. Here he flies out to right. And that will do it. So we put a three spot on the board. We go to the bottom of the third inning. And it's the top of the lineup with Frank Baker leading off. Stevenson at 40 pitches. Not exactly efficient. Wow, Baker 
Rips it to center field. Fortunately, it was right at Bosch. There's one down. They're working him. That was a nine pitch at bat. Here's Bobby Mercer. Another full count. A ground ball that gets past Rollins at third. Oh, man. And it's a double. Mercer legging it out. Good hustle on his part. All right. That is his 10th double. Wow, Mercer's only 23 years old. He's still a young guy. All right. So, runner in scoring position. Here is Thurman Munson. He is also a rookie in this ballgame. 1-0 count. And a base hit. That'll get a run in. Is that another double? Munson legs it out. So, I think Pinella being tired is allowing all of these doubles. That is his 26th double. And only he has two home runs. He's 22 years old. Didn't make it to the majors until 1970 in real life, so he's ahead of schedule. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a problem here. Is Stevenson falling apart? Let's see how he does versus Tony Soleda. There's a ground ball to Pat Apatek. Oh, and he goes to third to get the runner. Munson tried to have aggressive base running. That was a dumb, dumb play. We'll take it, though. If they're going to give us those type of errors, we'll take it. And Jim Little hits a ground ball to short with a runner on first, and they go the short way to second to get the force. So the Yankees get one back on back-to-back -back doubles to go to the top of the fourth inning, and Don Bosch is leading off. Bosch is one for four in his career versus Al Downing. Popping it up to first. Soleda making the catch. One up. Oh, that makes sense. So the, we've scored four runs on Downing, but because of that error by Soleda, three of those runs were unearned. So this is not going to hurt his ERA. I don't think Downing will give up another run this game, though. Another earned run, anyway. I would love to know, and I bet you there's a way I can find out, and it would take a lot of effort on my part. But I would love to know how many unearned runs there were in real life in 1969. And just how far off is this game? Because, I mean, there are so many unearned runs. It's kind of... Re I think it feels wrong. I don't know if it is. So I'd like to know, but uh, maybe I'll look into that at the end of the year. Okay, so easy one, two, three inning for Downing. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Things are sort of unraveling here for Jerry Stevenson. I'd love to get him through five, but he's proven that he's not really capable of giving us that. Bailey crushes it to center field. Another great play by Downing. Uh, by Downing, by Bosch. Okay, one out. I think maybe the uh, allergy pill's kicking in. As uh, my train of thought is just starting to waver. Okay, there we go. A pop-up from White. Oh, man, a 1-2-3, and it would be perfect here. Is he going to walk Clark? Is the game going to walk Clark? Nope, 2-2 two, two count. No, they're going to... Or is that a base hit? Oh, no, it's going to be caught. Okay. AG making the catch. I thought for sure they would get Clark on, and then Downing would come up, but it did not happen. Oops, there we go. Okay, we have uh, Freddie Potek leading off. Potek's one for two today. Downing's only at 60 pitches. Skies it to left field. Play made by Roy White. One out. Here is Gary Sutherland. Sutherland's got a big hit today. Doubled. Knocking in a run. Popping it up here to short. Baker making the play. And is this going to be another 1 2 3 inning for Downing? Oh, he walks Pinella. Pinella, so tired. Barely get down to first base. Darren Johnson up next. He hits it deep to right center field. It's 407 in the alley to, to right field. It is 457 to left. That is insane when you think about it. 
old Yankee Stadium. All right. Here we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. The pitcher is going to bat. If we could just get through this inning, I know there's lefties coming up. We will not mess around. I will pull Stevenson if he is not capable of getting through this. 1-1. Count to Downing. Ground ball to third, and Rollins makes the play. I was thinking error all the way. Okay, here's Frank Baker. He's 0 for 2 today and a 119 hitter versus Fridays. An 0-2 count, and he strikes him out on a fastball low and away. 4Ks for Stevenson. He's looking more like himself here this inning. This is a tough one. It's Bobby Mercer. Full count to Mercer, and he walks him, and it's not even close. That ball is so far out and away. Okay. If he goes after the right-hander Munson here, then it won't be a big deal. But if Munson gets on, we're going to go to lock. That's just how it is. Oh, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Well, that's a grab ball. The third is a 3-0 count. The Yankees had to know I would pull him if he got on base. But good job. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Rich Rollins will lead off. That's all, that's all we're asking for from Stevenson. He's done for the day with those lefties coming up. So we're grateful. Maybe get him a win. Get him off the schneid. Yeah, I don't think we're getting another hit in the ballgame as long as Downing is in there. Yeah, this is going to be 10 in a row for Downing after Bosch here. That's a walk. I guess he's walked two during this stretch. Bosch is on first, and McNerty lines it to right, and that'll do it. Okay, so Stevenson coming out of the ballgame, as we got the lefties are coming up here. We're going to bring in Ron Locke, and Locke does not mess around with left-handers. Look at the splits. Look at him do the splits. 155 versus lefties and 206 versus righties. So he's effective versus both. And that has made him very valuable to us. A guy that was just a throw-in in the AG trade, right? Yeah. For Don Mincher. We, we were going after AG. We tossed in Ron Locke, and he's been great. Okay. Um, it's too early to do a defensive replacement, I think. Um, but I'm looking at you, Gary Southern. Him too. So let's see how it goes here with lefty on lefty action. Fly ball into right center field. It will be caught. I thought that might find a hole. But a good play there from Bosch. Here's Little with a ground ball to short. Patek, come on. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Bob Bailey, we're going to let Locke pitch to Bob. And then um, we've got switch hitters up after that. So I'm okay with Locke. All right, popping it up. Good job, as expected, from Ron Locke. We go to the seventh inning, and Locke would be the leadoff man here. So Locke will, will come out. And who hits lefties well? I guess if they, anyone did, they'd be in the ballgame. Um, obviously, May does. He had two hits yesterday. I think it's going to be Danny Walton. We're going to bring in Walton here. He only bats 230, but he put a little something, something into it. He's got 89 power. 1 2 count. Oh, he's got nothing, nothing. That sucks. All right, here's Patek. I mean, Downing is just absolutely shutting us down. Almost a base hit for Pate. Oh, it's an error on the shortstop, Baker. All right, two errors today on the Yankees. Let's make it costly. We will hit and run again with uh, Sutherland. It got us a double last time. Here we go. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> that little guy 
just hit it 460 feet. Contact will tag. That almost never works in our favor. That'll do it for Sutherland today. We'll pinch, uh, I mean, we'll uh, do a defensive replacement for him. Here's Lou. Lou's walked, despite being sleepy. Get down! Oh, a base hit to center! Potek will score. Do we want to go for two? I'm going to say no. It is five to one. Wow. A big hit from Lou. They're not booing. They're saying Lou. Uh, Pinola has not been Yankee property at this point of his career, so he's kind of hurting his future team. Darren Johnson walks. Now Downing is over 100 pitches. So we've worked him over a little bit here as Rich Rollins comes up. Two down, runners on first and second. And a base hit that gets past the third baseman. Pinella scores, Johnson goes to third, and the route is on. All right. Another RBI today for Rollins. Let's see how, if Tommy Agee can get in on it. He doesn't, he's right there. Okay. So, uh, we're, we're not gonna use Danny Walton on defense, but we are gonna improve our defense. Van Kelly's gonna come in. Um, and Keegan will play first. And uh, we will pull Lou out of the ball game. And we'll bring in Lane Comer. Since uh, Lou is tired, technically. Okay. So there we go. Um, that should improve us a little bit. A lot. We need a pitcher. This is uh, Diego Segui's role. Uh, he hasn't exactly been trustworthy. His 61st game, that is the most on our team, and he's pitched the most innings in relief, 77. He's starting to walk more. That's not good. Uh, he's got 62 strikeouts, though. Two saves, one bluey. Doesn't have much of a fastball. In fact, his forkball is the only pitch that's league average. Rated an 80. Overall, 75. The 32-year ready is going to be a pilot until 1971. What does he look like in his last 20 games? A 462 ERA, and he's given up runs in his last two games, both against the Senators. So we need him to turn it around here. He's going to face the bottom of the lineup. It's White, Clark, and then the pitcher spot. I don't think that Downing will bat. Yep, and he walks White. Two-two count to Horace Clark, and he strikes him out. There will be a pinch hitter. So there's one down, runner at first. It's Ron Blomberg, famously known as the very first ever DH in the history of baseball. Represented with his 1972 Topps card. 1-1 one, one count to Blomberg. Oh, man. He just TPS reported it into center field. And then an error by Bosch. We upgrade our defense. And then what happens? White goes to third on that error. And now there's more lefties. And we can't in good conscience let Diego go. Um... We're going to bring in Riddleberger. Now, we have not seen Riddleberger since we sent him down to the minors. Um, he is not particularly good versus lefties. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess he is all right. 231. Why did I think he was not? Was it because he got blasted? Um, all right. We're up five runs. Maybe this is just their way of getting a couple junk runs. We're going to play back. That run doesn't mean anything. We would love to get a double play here, perhaps. Here we go, Riddleberger. First appearance, it's a ground ball to third. Let's go around the horn. No. We force a runner at second and the run does not score. So, we are one pitch away from getting out of this jam. It's Bobby Mercer batting 143 versus lefties. 2-0 count. Oh, he gaps it, son of a bitch. 
two runs score, and it's six to three. And what those are unearned runs, right? Because of the error or something. Maybe one of those runs are. No, because it was on a after a hit. Ah, oh, hell if I know anymore. Okay, here we go. Thurman Munson. We've got, we've got two lefties coming up after Munson, so we've got to at least let him pitch to it. And that'll be out number three. Unless Bosch makes another error. So that was a bunch of bullshit. But um, they get those two runs back. And they're going to bring in Jack Acker, who um, we traded to the Yankees. This is only his sixth appearance after we gave him 27 appearances this year. He went 1-2 and two with the 6-12 ERA. And he's been lights out in his uh, limited duty with the Yankees. All right, so he's here to exact a little revenge. Don Bosch leading off. And a base hit up the middle. So Bosch makes the air and atones for it with a base hit. Um, we're gonna let we're gonna have uh, McDerty bunt here. He leads the team with 12 sacrifice bunts. The pitcher spots up next. 2-0 count. Dropping it down. Bosch. Safe at second. Riddleberger is going to come out. And we've got Joe Pepitone coming in to pinch hit here. What does he do versus lefties? Oh. Not great. I mean, versus righties. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. There we go. He's got seven home runs. All right. So we have a runner on second. One down. Joey Pep in there. One, two count. Oh, it's a comebacker to Acker. Oh, Bosch will advance. Okay. So now we need Freddie Potek to do something good here. He's a 287 hitter versus righties. 0 2 count. Ground ball up the middle. Good play by Baker. Okay. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We need to replace the pitcher here. Shoot. Shoot! Wow, we do not have very many lefties. The only lefty left in the pen is John Morris, and he does not get lefties out. But we got to do what we got to do. I guess we could have brought in Skippy. We'll give John Morris a shot here with the season on the line. Here we go. Tony Salata at the plate. 2-2 two -two count. And he strikes him out. Good job by... Morris, that was unexpected. Here we go with Jim Little. Little with a Y. That's a dumb thing to do. And he strikes out with the screwball. So John Morris looking like a stud. He does what he needs to do. Time to bring in Skippy. Close to sending out. Lockwood has been the man. He's got to face Bob Bailey here. Full count to Bailey, though. And he strikes him out. We strike out the side. There we go. We're going to the ninth inning. They're leaving Jack Acker in there. Pardon me. With Van Kelly on the mound, my allergies are starting to work with me the more I talk here. Van Kelly getting his first at bat. It's a ground ball to short. Here's Wayne Comer. Also a defensive replacement. All three batters in the lineup are all defensive replacements. This inning. Comer grounds out. And Mike Keegan. A base hit into right field. There we go. He can slowly try to get that batting average back. It was, it was really up there for a good part of the year. Uh, then he went into a huge slump. Rollins will ground out. And that'll do it. So we're going to bring in our closer. Mike Marshall. Marshall has 31 saves and four blueies. This is his 58th game. He's six and one with a 191 ERA. 51 strikeouts and 66 innings pitch. He doesn't walk many. If he does walk somebody, you know you're, he's about to blow it. I mean, that's how you know. Um, 
He's got the 89 mile an hour fastball. That's his only good pitch. He does have a screwball right around league average. The 26 year old righty is arbitration eligible next year. And he is facing the 7, 8, and 9 batters. So you know they're going to pinch hit for Acker. Um, this is our best possible defense. Let's see how we do here with Roy White leading off. He's a switch hitter. He's going to bat left handed. Popping it up on the infield. There's out number one. Here we go. Looking good. Horace Clark. 192 hitter versus righties. Ground ball back to Patek. And out number two. They're going to bring in the backup catcher to pinch hit here. And that makes a hell of a lot of sense. He's batting 360 overall. 379 uh, versus righties with a lot of power. Power's not going to do any good here, though. Two down. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Full count. And he dumps it into left center field. Come on. Oh, it's a base hit. Son of a bitch. It's never easy. They probably should pinch hit for Frank Baker if they want to win the ball game. We don't need to guard the lines here. We're up three. Here's Frank Baker. Two down. 0-1 count. And he's going to fly to left center field. Comer coming over. Making the play. The Pilots win. 6-3. to three. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Shoo, we needed that win. I hope that's a good omen for today's uh, opening day for my real Tigers and our 84 Sim Tigers. Let's take a look at the standings. Come on. Yes, we are one game back of the lead. Oakland is just falling. They've lost four in a row. Let's look at their team. Are they mixing things up? What's going on here? Nobody's tired. They have all the right players in the lineup. Um, I don't know. I guess they haven't been the same since Ernie Banks was pulled from the everyday lineup. How about their pitching staff? Well, they did lose Blue Moon Odom. I mean, that was a big loss. But they brought in that Paul Gilliford guy, and he beat us. That's his one win. Since then, he's not been good. The rest of the team looks all right. They moved Raleigh Fingers out of the closer's role and put a lefty in there. I don't know. It doesn't make sense, but hey, we'll take what we can get here. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Boston is now officially eliminated. Uh, I don't think I noticed that before, so I think that was after today. They've won two in a row, but um, this was not their year as uh, they might lose 100 games the way things are going. Okay, let's take a look here at the National League. Uh, the <laughs> Padres win again. They made it to 40 wins. I did not think that was going to be possible. New York has a one-and-a-half game lead, and Houston is a half game up on the Dodgers. Headline news, Brainiac Baseball, Daily Beat. Seattle beats New York just one back. Thank you for recognizing um, let's see here. Pinella sparked the club with an excellent performance. He got a hit and a walk. Eh. He's only betting 100 with no homers lost five games. That is correct. He's been pretty bad. Stevenson will get off the schneid today. Maybe it was a new baseball card. Um, and that's the only news of the day. Transactions. Let's take a look here. Uh, we do have an injury. Gary Gentry of the Mets. Oh, we saw that yesterday. I'm sorry. We knew that already. Uh, so then there's a retirement. It's Bobby, Bobby Prescott, who has not played in the majors since 1961. He didn't even have a baseball card to represent him. So he will not be missed. Let's pull up the box score. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Strap yourselves in for a long day of baseball. The first game in real life is uh, kicking off in 15 minutes. Uh, so I'll have that on one of the TVs here. Um, let's see. Player of the game. There's a lot of people who contributed to the victory. It really comes down to Rich Rall or Pinella. Um, oof. I think we have to give it to Rich Rollins. Two for five. He had uh, two RBI. We had three doubles today. 
Jerry Stevenson does get the victory. He goes to 7-7. Seven and seven. He pitched just good enough. Uh, Diego Segui, we have to worry about that guy. His average uh, ERA is almost up to uh, 4 now. Riddleberger, and uh, yeah, okay. The bullpen, rest of the bullpen did a good job. Mike Marshall uh, gets his 30-second save. L. Downing takes the loss. He's 0-2 against this this year. Jack Acker, our old buddy, comes in and does his gerb. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to get this game uploaded. It's going to take a little while. And then we will have opening day for the 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. A very important season in my childhood. Uh, I'm excited to finally kick that series off. Until then, everyone, have a great day.